must all work together to eliminate racism, ignorance and the lack of understanding that currently exists in our Australian na nation and right here in Canberra. To all of you who have given your time, um, one of the great strengths of our city is the preparedness for people to put their shoulders to the wheel uh, when the opportunity arrives uh, to make sure Canberra remains the world's most livable city. It is in many respects, uh, I think, frustrating that at times uh, when concerns about radicalisation uh, and divisiveness arise in our community that we feel the need to come together. Uh, we should, of course, be coming together at all, the t all times. The people who are causing some problems in Australia, who are using this as an excuse to perpetrate violence, uh, are a very, very small minority, and they do not speak for the Muslim faith. Uh, it is not Islam. It is a source of great sadness for me that we live in a time where it is challenging, and there are those in our community who will seek to divide, who will use fear to create intolerance, and some who will go so far as to seek to fan the flames of hatred. This gathering today is very timely because we do have rising community anxiety about the threat of terrorism. And unfortunately, that has had some implications on racial tolerance and cultural harmony. This conversation, I guess, may have grown out of our current security climate, but we don't want this to be a defensive conversation. We, we, we're looking at this as an opportunity to take a stock of, of how cohesive our community actually is, of what binds us together. This has been going on since 9-11. It, it's not something that's just happened overnight. So clearly this is an ongoing challenge for Muslims living in, in Canberra. All of a sudden, um, young people don't go out in the playground as much, or they stick to the library, or um, young families um, stay at home and don't go out to the shops as much. All of a sudden, life changes, mm. um, or people become scared. What needs to be done is for, for community, particularly the leaders, not to wait till they become a victim of this. What they need to do is come out with one voice and condemn it right at the outset that this kind of actions is not going to be tolerated in our society. I always talk about lowering our tolerance to poor behaviour because that's really what it's about and it doesn't matter who it's to, it doesn't matter whether it's targeted at a religious group or it's targeted at a, a particular minority part of society, it's simply we shouldn't tolerate it, we shouldn't turn our heads and ignore it and as a community we should be much stronger in our voice together against it. When you're greeted with difference as a human being, you tend to have one of two main responses. One of those responses is fear and one of those responses is wonder. And I think that young people have an enormous amount to teach us about greeting difference with wonder and with inquisitiveness. The longer I stay in Australia, my name isn't going to get any shorter. <laughs> so I, I don't, you know, I don't know how you can combat that and, and get around it. Um, and yeah, unlike a lot of other people that do have a second English name um, that they put on their resumes, I, I don't. And I don't feel like I should have to. If everyone does their little bit, it's the little things that count, right? If every person is doing their little bit, it forms a bigger picture, it helps the greater community. I have an idea that we could have, um, from the Muslim perspective, is do like Ramadan breaking fast in the city. So we could, we could have a massive sort of break fast and invite all people, homeless, non-Muslims, you know, non -Muslims and everyone to break fast. Start off from your neighbour. Islam says that we should be a no a neighbor, 40 houses this side, 40 houses that side. So it, it starts from, from then on, you don't see uh, to, to know each other. Establishment of a central reflection center in Canberra, mm -hmm. where everyone can go for five minutes, 10 minutes, just sit there quietly in a corner, irrespective of the fact that the next person is an Anglican or Catholic or somebody doesn't Or an believe, atheist. Or, yeah, on a, on yeah, an atheist. I'd like to suggest that the role of volunteering can be very helpful mm. in uh, establishing connection, assisting connection and in reducing isolation. There is more that binds us that wants the social harmony of our city, city to strengthen and to thrive than is what is different about us. Just telling the story 
you know, we, we know we, we speak about education, we speak about sharing our stories. As I say, all of us have parents, most of us will have children, we all have families, we all have deep friends. It matters not where they come from. We want the best for them and they want the best for us. How do we become champions and broaden that? to each and every citizen in Canberra. So this conversation now will filter across our 40,000 students in our government schools. They will take that conversation home to their families. Their families will take the conversation to their work colleagues. This is what today will start.